Today I'll be demonstrating the full Air 3 iNav setup with on-screen display on the Zephyr Z2 wing. I have a Runcam Eagle 2 uh, on the nose. I don't have a, an HD camera on there at the moment, but I'll put one on a bit later on. Uh, and that gives me voltage telemetry in the FPV view, so um, I don't need to initiate that on the board. Uh, Alright, let's just get on with it, eh? Now we just have to wait until the satellites are acquired. I'll do line of sight first and just test out that everything's working. I do have launch assist uh, but I'm going to launch it normally first. Because I find it easier to launch like that because you've got the prop assisting your arm in the throw. If you use the iNav launch assist you've got to do all the throw yourself. Let's try horizon mode. There's horizon mode. It's dipping down. Altitude hold. So that is now sort of angle mode and altitude hold. Get out of there and come back and do that again. So that's just going to fly straight, stabilized, and hold the altitude. Horizon mode, I don't think I've got altitude hold on a horizon mode. Gives you a little bit more control, like angle mode in the middle. But it does want to dip down, so yeah, I need to align my board a little bit better maybe. So that's air mode or no mode basically, which is a little bit stabilised. It's quite nice. A good mode to fly around in. Oh, look at that. Beautiful wing, so smooth, so powerful. You could put any weight on this thing and it would fly beautifully, I think. Alright, let's try some other modes. Let's try a loiter mode, I'll get up a bit higher. Loiter, loiter mode, so that's going to circle around radius of about 40 metres I've got and it should hold that altitude as well, because I've got altitude hold as well on that one. So that's an interesting mode, that one, that's a GPS mode. It's just going to circle around above that point. Very cool indeed. You could just fly like that all day. Alright, I'm back into uh, air mode now. Alright, I'll fly down here and I'll do a return to home. Return to launch. So that's going to go to 50 metres and come back. Now it's going to turn around, then go up to 50 metres, then circle above my head. There it is. That's the get out of trouble mode. If you fly beyond radio range or you turn your radio off by mistake or stuff like that, the plane's going to come home. Alright, I'm in control again. Let's try launch assist. This wing does take a lot of space to land. So it helps if you've got a bit of a headwind. Lovely. I kept knocking those landing skids off, um, so I've made up some more, and it's a triple layer of Corex or Coreplast, so it's a lot sturdier, and that's not going to uh, not going to come off. I'll try launch assist now. I found that it's really hard to do the launch assist launch with it like this because you've got to do all the work yourself. So launch assist is designed to hook your fingers in here prop folder and give it a proper throw with your with your dominant arm so let's just try that launch mode Th throttle active oh look at that oh, that is that's easy <laughs> that's good it stays in that uh, stable climb mode until you hit the sticks or choose a different mode so I've switched out of launch mode now let's try that again Oh, what I want to try is the old launch, auto launch with return to home selected as well. Might even land it in front of me, or it might even knock me off my feet. Yeah, it's going to go past. Just keeps gliding. Oh, that's beautiful. Launch mode, return to launch, arm the board, throttle up. 
Ah, and I bump the throttle down. Let's try that again. Launch mode. Return to launch. Throttle active. Not touching anything. There it is, it kicks in to return to home. I <laughs> still haven't touched anything. Plane's flying itself, isn't that beautiful? I love that mode. Just for showing off. Crowd pleaser. <laughs> All right, take it out of that. And now I'm in control again. All right, time for a bit of FPV. This thing will tip stall if you turn too slowly, so you do have to keep the speed up. Oh, look at that beautiful wing. Excellent. It's better. That's pretty good. I'm sure we can improve that with better isolation. So I'll put it into angle mode and that, Altitude hold. that tells me it's in hold. Using the accelerometer and the barometer. Altitude is 41 meters and holding. Oop, there's a bird. Let's have a look at horizon mode now, coming back this way. Horizon mode, altitude is dropping, so that's altitude hold doesn't work with horizon mode the way I've got to set it up. Good to know. Back in acro mode. Let's try loiter mode. So 53 meters, loiter mode, 51, 48, 47, it's dropping a bit, 45, 46, 47, and it's just circling around that point, that's cool, 48 meters, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 44, sort of holding there. Right, got control again. Let's go right down here and do a return to home. Hundred kilometers an hour. Return, Turn to launch. to launch. Turns should stay at fifty meters eventually, or at least fifty meters. Here it comes. Still at 50 metres. How cool is this? All right, let's do a full throttle run down the park. See how fast we go. 120, 120. Thought we got 120. 127, 130. This is fun. Better not kill the battery. Alright. Time to land, change batteries. It's a better approach. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. 